What's good, guys? Fantasy Joe back here in our mock draft Monday. Today, I'm drafting from the 101 half point PPR in a 12 man league. Going to be showing you guys what I would take at all these different spots. If you guys are new to the channel, make sure you hit that subscribe button. A ton of more content coming your way, especially as the season gets going. We're going to be dropping a lot more shorts this year, a lot more videos, mock draft Mondays, Dynasty, tons of content. So buckle up and get ready. Uh, let's hop into this draft. I'm going to take Christian McCaffrey at the 101. There's three players I really consider there. It would be McCaffrey, Jefferson, and Eckler. I'll go with McCaffrey because even though Elijah Mitchell is a little bit worrisome as far as carries he's receiving, etc., I just think that the upside is Lee Wang still, especially being a guy in that 49ers offense. We've seen how good the running backs have been. He stays healthy. He could be an absolute monster for fantasy football. I'm going to hide our drafted players now. Let's take a look. A.J. Brown's still on the board, so I am going to select him here. He's in a tier of his own uh, as far as the wide receivers go to me, and so I'm going to take him. And then we're looking at next pick. I will take Najee Harris here. Just the amount of volume that he's going to get, I love, in that third round first pick. I easily see him as a 300 carry, you know, 40 reception guy type of player. And, yeah, he wasn't nearly as good last year, but they've made some additions to that offensive line to upgrade it. And, like I said, volume is king of fantasy football. He is going to get that. And I do think he's a talented runner and was playing injured last year. Okay, let's take a look at who else is available. Keenan Allen and Debo are the two guys I'm looking at. I'm going to take Keenan Allen here mainly because I already have uh, um, Christian McCaffrey, and I feel like double-dipping on that offense, although maybe makes you a little bit more consistent. I think that limits our upside this early in a draft. Although the more I think about it... I love the thought of Debo Samuel in a flex. You get that consistency. You get that explosive ability. Um, it is tempting to me here. This is a perk of going back-to-back -back with your picks. I'll take Debo Samuel here. The other guy I thought about, it's a little too early. Those guys like Debo on the board to me. Christian Watson, though, I would consider there in that fifth round usually. Wide receiver, heavy team. Really glad that we've got... Uh, McCaffrey and Naj is our first and third picks. So I was able to go AJ Brown in the middle and then stack some good wide receivers on either side. Okay, looking at the guys available, I'm going to take Khalil Herbert here. I think he's one of the guys, he will be the starter for Chicago. It could be Roshan Johnson. He could win the job. But I think Khalil Herbert will get first crack. I think he's a talented player. We've seen him be successful in his starts where he's gotten the opportunity in the past. Taking a look at who is still on the board here, I am tempted to go quarterback, but honestly, I'm fine with any of these three, maybe even four players. Um, so I'm going to wait a little bit on quarterback, see how that unfolds. And taking a look at who left, else is left, tight end, uh, don't really love any of those guys. I don't mind Darren Waller, maybe one more round. I'm going to take a shot on A.J. Dillon here for Green Bay. I like getting a piece of that offense. I could have a lot of rushing touchdowns. Uh, he could be the guy on the goal line. So I guess I should have taken him quarterback there. We see them run off the board. But that's why you do my drafts. You want to figure that out. Taking a look at the tight end position, the guys I was interested in also gone. There's still guys I like at tight end, though, so we're fine. I'll take the upside of Kadarius Toney here. Um, slid Rashad Bateman left very far down my rankings recently just with the additions that the Ravens have made at the pass catcher positions. Uh, please tell me that volume was on the whole time. So this video is recording. If you guys are seeing this, hopefully it is. Um, ooh, taking a look, I am tempted between James Cook and Rashad Penny, to be honest. I think Penny could be the guy for that team. Obviously, they trade for Swift as well, but I think Penny could be the first and second down runner. James Cook I do like, but I think Damian Harris is the goal one guy. I just don't know how much work he's going to get. Taking a look at who else we still have out on the board. You know what, I will take a shot James Cook here in the ninth round. It's late enough, you know what, I'll go with his upside. Um, I don't know how much James Cook shares I'll have, honestly, but I'm willing to take a shot on him. Tight end, guy one is still out there, and same thing with quarterback, so we're really going to punt those now. I will take a shot on Alan Lazard. Actually, you know what, yeah, I'll take Alan Lazard here. I think he could be that number two in that jet scheme, and he has a relationship with Aaron Rodgers. We saw how productive he was for the Packers last year. I think he could be in a similar role. Obviously, they have Garrett Wilson, but I don't think there's any reason he can't still soak up a good amount of targets. 
Okay, I'm actually going to take my quarterback here a little bit early just because, you know what, actually, I'll take a share of Jeff Wilson Jr. right here. Throw him on the team. I like him a little bit less, which was the addition of Devin A. Chain, but I do think he is the guy there. Uh, we saw that last year. Give me Geno Smith. I'm going to take him. With all the additions they've made weapon-wise, they have uh, they have DK. They have Tyler Lockett, and then they add Jackson Smith Majigba, drafted Zach Charbonnet as well. Literally just weapons all around him, and he's fifth in touchdowns thrown last year in the entire NFL. Then I'm going to take Chica Conco. Uh, extremely athletic tight end for Tennessee. They don't have a ton of pass catching options there. He could soak up a giant target share. And like I said, a great athlete. So the upside is there as well. Taking a look at who is still out there. Give me Adam Thielen. He could be the number one for this team, especially the beginning of the season for Carolina with Bryce Young, who I think could be a very consistent player at the beginning. And then honestly, I'm, I'm going to double out a quarterback just because I think this guy's a really good option that's still out there, very consistent. Give me Kirk Cousins, the one o'clock hero. I can play him at all those starts. We'll take a look at this team <clears throat> and uh, wrap up this video. So at QB, I got Geno, RBs, Christian McCaffrey, Najee, wide receivers, A.J. Brown, Keenan Allen, Chigga Kwanko as my starting tight end, Debo Samuel my flex, Khalil Herbert in my second flex, A.J. Dillon, Kadarius Tony, James Cook, Al Lazard, Jeff Wilson Jr., Adam Thielen, and Kirk Cousins. Honestly, this is one of the teams that I do like, honestly. I just really like that I was able to go with McCaffrey, Nash, and A.J. Brown to start. Keenan, I thought was a great fourth-round pick, and Debo in the fifth was crazy value to me. So I really like a lot of the players we got, and I like a lot of the upside we're able to stack on the bench. And even like guys like Lazard, I think his upside is, you know, a, a good wide receiver too. And I think he's got, you know, a somewhat safe floor of being a flex play no matter what to me that you could roll out there in the right matchups. If you guys have made it to this point in the video, please hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, and if you have any questions or comments, drop them in the comment section down below. I'll respond as always. This has been Fancy Joe. Thank you guys so much for watching.